Hello, hello. Okay, today we're going to do something a little different. As you can see, I wanted to do another tier list, but do it where we're talking about fun, right? Instead of like, what's the most sweaty legend? What's the most fun legend? And I thought we'd just do it live and, well, here's my nice, beautiful, lovely merch. So that's why there's a camera here. Okay, so today, oh, link in the description, by the way. We're going to start with this list. We got pretty much every legend here, I believe. Um, I guess we'll start from left to right and start with Loba. Okay, Loba, I do like her tactical. I think that that is a lot of fun. Her ultimate, it, okay, the ultimate can be a lot of fun when you steal loot uh, from people. That's always great. Like when you steal a care package, there's a lot of creativity with the tactical. I, okay, I'm going to start here with a basis. I might move her around. I'm going to put her A tier for fun, but that might change as we come along. Now, Bangalore, she is pretty generic. She's like the Soldier 76 of Apex in some way, you know? She's good, but she's not really that fun. It is fun when you get a speed boost. Like, that can be what I'd call fun. Um, I'll put her B tier. I'd say if, if she didn't have a passive, which really just adds that little bit of movement speed, you know, sometimes you've got to go fast, uh, then, yeah, she'd be C. So I say uh, B tier for now. All right, now we got Lifeline. Guan with Jia. Who's who's gonna who's where's Lifeline gonna go? Um, I I don't know. I think Lifeline's a little boring. Like, she has the capability of healing in fights quicker, putting down a care package, and healing her friends. Like in terms of actual gameplay, she is D tier. I think she's boring. I yeah, there's no doubt about that. She is a pretty boring legend to play. We have Caustic. Um, now, Caustic is an interesting one. I think Caustic can be a lot of fun. I do. Uh, just because there's a lot of creativity in his gas traps. But a lot of people play Caustic so boringly. Like, they'll just sit inside a building, leave it as that. Um, Caustic is also the most frustrating legend to play against. So, I'd say, if you like being toxic, if you like being smart with your plays, Caustic can be pretty good. I, yeah, I mean, just because of the creativity, we have to put him A tier. No doubt. Um, Revenant. Revenant, I'd say... I mean, I don't know. There's not really that much interesting to his kit. Like, there's a lot of unique things going on, but there's not necessarily anything there that's fun. You know? Like, what, you can throw your tactical down or you can sneak up on some people. I mean, that's boring, honestly. You have to go so slow. It's like... Hmm. I'm going to put Revenant C tier. I don't think he has much to offer. Like... If I play Revenant, I usually get quite bored quite quickly because there's not too much you can do in terms of outplays. Okay, now we got Bluffhunter. Bluffhunter easily goes A tier just simply because of the ultimate. Like, you can get your ultimate, go kill people, uh, get more charge on the ultimate and just keep rushing in and in and in. And there's no doubt, no doubt in my mind that Bloodhound belongs there. You just pack a couple of accelerants and you're perfect. Okay, next we have Crypto. I think Crypto can be fun. Like, you can get some pretty cool plays with the uh, drone. The drone ult, rather. But actually going inside the drone and going in and out. To me, this is my personal opinion. I think Crypto is pretty boring. So, C for Crypto. C for Crypto. Um, okay, let's just revise our list a minute. I do think this makes sense. Having uh, Loba... Caustic Bloodhound here. Bangalore is a little bit more fun than Revenant and Crypto. Lifeline's boring. Okay. Now we've got Pathfinder. I think Pathfinder has to go S tier. Even with the nerf, the grapple is just so fun. If I had like a tier between S and A, I'd probably put Path there. Um, the thing is, because we're used to having that long grapple time, I mean, the short grapple time, now that it's so long, it is a bit like, my attention span is not there. It's not fitted for waiting that long, you know? So, Pathfinder's hanging on to S tier, I'd say. But he's a lot of fun. That grapple, you cannot deny. It's such a fun ability. Now, okay. Gibraltar's next. And I... People will say this is a bit boring, but I do like the plays around... The Dome Shield, I think that he at least deserves a B for that. But I'm going to give him A because 
come on, he has the best finisher in the game. You can literally flatten people. And he's such a cheery character as well. Like, I enjoy playing Gibraltar a lot. As much as he seems like a big, slow boy, like, I enjoy playing Gibraltar. Um, but do I enjoy playing Gibraltar as much as these legends? Hmm. You know what? I'm, can you add a new tier? I don't know. I was thinking, like, maybe I'm going to do this, you know. Like this. Bangalore C, Lifeline Crypto, Revenant D, Gibraltar B, these three. I think that's more suitable. Like, yeah. I'd say my enjoyment levels between Lifeline Crypto and Revenant are pretty in line. So, that makes sense to me. That makes sense. And then we have Mirage. I mean, is it no question? Mirage goes straight to S tier, without a doubt. Mirage is one of the most enjoyable legends to play. Bamboozling people left, right and centre is so easy now. Um, so, yeah, not only is Mirage a really great actual legend, he is S tier, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Now our speedy boy, Octavio Silva, also belongs in S tier. No doubt about that. Octane's so fun. I've had the most fun out of Octane. If there was an S+, plus, I'd put Octane there. I'd put Pathfinder A+, plus. Um, I think that makes sense. Watson. Hmm. It's got to be D tier. I mean, what can you even do with Watson? Whenever I play Watson aggressively, I never use her abilities, because you just can't. You've got to sit in a, in a building and camp like that. It's like the antithesis of fun, really. Um, now we have Wraith, last. Is that really all legends? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It is, okay. Now, I know so many people like playing Wraith, and, um, you know, she has a good kit, no, no doubt. She's the only S tier legend I did in my actual tier list video, but in terms of her actual, like, fun level, I think that she deserves to be lower than S for sure. Like, let's just say, is she as fun as these three? No. Is she as fun as Loba, Caustic, and Bloodhound? No. Is she as fun as Gibraltar? No. Is she as fun as Bangalore? In my opinion, no. She's not fun to play. She just has some, like, kind of cheesy abilities in a way. I think she's the least fun legend, honestly. Like, I would rather play all of these legends here for fun. Not viability, of course. Fun-wise, we're talking. I'd rather play these. Uh, yeah, this is my ranking. So that's really interesting. Like, obviously people always watch tier lists for Apex to try and find the best legend to play for, you know, who should they play? Who, who are they going to get the most enjoyment out of? But that's different. The difference between who's going to win your games and who are you going to get the most enjoyment out of is very, very different. Watson is basically S tier. Wraith's basically S tier, but they're, to me, some of the most boring legends to play. These three, um, they're boring, but they're not really that great either. Bangalore actual viability is a bit better than her fun level. Um, Gibby is more viable than his fun level. These are basically A tier. These are like where they belong, both fun wise and actual viability wise. And then Octane is like polar opposites, right? The flips have almost the flips have been scripted. <laughs> the flips have almost been scripted here. Um, so, how would you rank these legends? I, for fun, fun wise, who do you get the most fun out of? I think this is the list. And at the end of the day, what um, matters more, really? I I run a team at the moment in ranked. I'm playing with Teddy and Psycho. You've probably seen on the stream. Um, we play. Loba, Octane, and Wraith. Now, besides the sweaty Wraith pick, Octane and Loba are definitely not picks you'd expect in rank. We are like Diamond now. Um, let's trying to get to Masters, so definitely tune into that stream every day. Um, yeah, but I think just enjoy yourself, you know? You can get through the ranks of any legend, honestly. So, pick a legend you enjoy more than anything else. Now, I don't know why I decided to put the camera on today, but here, this is my merch. I was going to do an event um, in the old ways uh, where you could win this. Um, nobody's actually completed the old ways challenge yet. 
I did a challenge where you had to kill five Pathfinders, um, complete Old Ways Bloodhound Trials. You needed to... What else did you need to do? There was something else. There was a bunch of things you had to do in one game. Nobody's actually done it all in one game yet, so definitely check that out if you still want to give it a try. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all later in the live stream. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Cheerio. Did you know I stream almost every day from 7pm UK time or 11am Pacific Standard Time? You can catch me live right here on YouTube, so make sure you have notifications turned on. I also have a new members program. Become a member for $2.99 a month, get your comments highlighted in videos, get a cool badge in live stream chat, get access to these cute emotes and also gain access to my members tips videos where you can ask me for any tips and I'll be making new videos weekly to help you improve your own game. Click the join button or click the link in the video description to get involved.